We recently purchased the A.M. Leonard Garden Scooter for Maggie as she's around our yardscape here. Well, what do we think about it? Well, stay tuned and I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So this is the A.M. Leonard Garden Scooter. We think it's a pretty good little unit for the price. It's about $135 on Amazon plus shipping. It's steel construction, got a pretty nice little paint job, and it has one of the tractor type old time seats, which makes it quite comfortable to sit in for an extended period of time. It's also got holes in it so it doesn't collect rain. And to adjust it up and down, down underneath you'll see that it's got an Acme type screw that you can simply rotate the seat left or right to raise or lower to exactly what you need. A couple other things we like about this unit. The tires are not pneumatic in the sense that they're air filled. So you can weed as you go. As you can see this little clip here where you see Maggie pulling weeds along one of the back beds there. And when she's complete here of filling this or putting weeds in it, she can simply move the cart using her legs to move to the next position and the steering steers very nicely. Another thing that's nice is that it tows nicely. When you bring it to wherever you're gonna work, you can simply do that, put the handle up and take a seat and go to work. Well, as you look at the front of this also, it's got a little bit of a compound steering um, mechanism. So it's real stable. How easy was the unit to put together? Well, as you can see by these shots, the unit comes pretty well assembled. It doesn't take a lot of assembly to put it all together. You simply take the different parts out of the box uh, and put them together. The graphics that are with the unit are pretty darn good. We do have a complaint though. And uh, we think that um, this is something that AM Leonard needs to take to heart. And that is, this has been modified after I got it. You can see now that it, it's pretty uh, solid. But look at this earlier shot, the way it came here. One of the spacers was missing on one of these over here. This was all wobbly. And the reason is that they use shoulder bolts here that do not allow you to tighten them up. So everything was just loosey goosey until I put washers in it. Kind of did some after the purchase servicing to bring it up to par. And so I think they could have a little bit better quality control. The paint job's reasonable, but it, there's a couple places it's kind of not carefully applied. And while it's not real easy to see on this unit here in the grass like this, this tire, all three others are very vertical on their axles. This particular one is leaning in. That's not gonna affect because you're not going down the highway or hauling at a high speed in any way, shape, or form, but it's still just a little attention to detail I think that they could benefit from and you and I could benefit from. So, at $135 is a good buy. Well, Maggie loves the unit. She gets a lot of work with it uh, and it makes it a lot easier on her back. And I will probably pimp my ride a little bit here like we always tend to do. Somewhere along here, I'll probably put a tube and put an umbrella on this so that on a little bit of a sunny day, we can protect her from the sun a little bit as she goes out and does her weeding duties. We think also for $135, they probably should have paid a little bit better attention to all this down here and tighten it up. You and I shouldn't have to do it. It's nice to be self-reliant like most of us are where we can fix it, but it'd been nicer if it would have come from the factory finish that way. So I would give it, a scale of one to five, five being best, one being lousy, maybe a four, 3.75, a four. Not because the finished product and how easy it is to use, but the extra work that we had to put in to get it where it needs to be. Perhaps the unit you buy won't have those issues. Well, we think this is a great unit around our house now. And if you found this to be helpful or you have a unit that you'd like to use make sure you comment in the comment section below. And if you found the video to be helpful, why don't you like it? Better yet, why don't you subscribe to our channel? It helps us to put out more videos about the home, the garden, the kitchen, and product reviews like this. Thank you. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.